So I am very excited for this video and product review of something that I think is maybe the most important piece of technology and equipment that has come out in the industry in probably the last couple years. I am talking about the CJ contactless heater. I've always had issues with aquarium heaters and so have my brothers. We've used some of the best brands and some of the most expensive heaters and we've still had failures along the way, sometimes killing our fish. And because of that, we really haven't had a heater that we could recommend to any of our followers or questions that we get, but I think that will change with this product as I will walk through an unboxing, a setup, and a review and go through some of those game-changing details and features about this heater. I can't believe I'm so excited to talk about an aquarium heater, but here we are. <laughs> yeah. So let's dive right in. If you followed along on the channel, you'll know that me and my brothers use CHA pumps and canister filters in almost all of our tanks. In my 180 here, I'm actually doing a water change with the CHA Ultra Zero. I have a CHA Whale canister, and I also have a Wave Maker from CHA. So basically, when it comes to anything water movement related, we've gone with CHA products, and we've had a lot of success with all these different pumps and filters. So that's just another reason we're really excited for this trusted brand to come out with a new heater. So the first thing we're gonna do is unbox the heater itself and talk about the features. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and show some of the really cool technology that comes along with these. I have the 200 watt and the 400 watt, which are both powerful heaters. I can't wait to take a look at these, check out the technology, see how it works and show all of you. It's really cool that we got the opportunity to test these before they really roll out in a big way and your local fish stores and online. I will be leaving links down in the description below once these do go on some of your online sites. So if this is something that you would like to find, you can just look down in the description below once they do become available. But without further ado, let's check these out. So here's the 200 watt and a few of the main features of this you'll already see. A five year warranty is huge for a heater. Almost all the heater failures we've had, they have not had a warranty. So love that about CHA, they stand behind their products and they think this heater will really last you. Otherwise, I don't think they would have that warranty. But maybe the coolest thing about this heater is it being contactless with the tap to connect technology, NFC technology, which is globally patented. So this technology is only within these heaters and you can use the app to control them. So we're gonna show all of that once we check it out and hook it up. All right, here we go. Pretty straightforward instructions and the heater. So you can see on this heater that there is no temperature dial to change the temperature. It all comes through the NFC technology. Yes, science! And I've heard that these are extremely durable and really hard to break. That's about as hard as I'm gonna try on my table. It kind of freaks me out with a heater, even if it's proven to be that way. It has suction cups on the back and it's pretty slim. So it looks like a pretty standard heater, but that NFC technology that comes in here is what's really gonna make it stand apart along with that warranty. It says the 200 watt here is rated for a 40 to 60 gallon aquarium and the 400 watt here, 80 to 125 US gallons. So in some of our larger tanks, this guy alone could almost do the job rather than having a couple heaters. So let's go ahead and get this open as well. Another small pro about these is the cord itself, which is over seven feet in length, so that's really convenient. And for the 400 watt here, the big one, it's about 18 and a half inches. So it's a pretty long heater, but it's pretty sleek and I think it could hide in the corner of your aquarium and not really be seen. And you can see here the sticker says, tap the heater with your mobile phone in the vertical position, which we're gonna do with the app here in just one second. So I'm almost done draining the tank with my water change. It doesn't really impact the installation of the heater, but the first thing I did was remove one of the old heaters, which as you can see is pretty big and boxy compared to the new CHA heater. But I'm gonna put the CHA heater right in here and then connect it to my phone. Okay, so I just plugged in the heater. You can see the red dot is on and my water is about to fill up, so don't worry about it being out of the water. But one of the coolest things is if you go to the control app from CHA, like I can see all of my other controllable devices, my wave makers, return pumps, controlling everything for my tanks right here. But if you go to add new device, you can see right here is scuba contactless. So you just click there, give it a name, click add, device added successfully. Okay, so I got the heater on and I clicked on new device on the app, it says ready to scan, and then I just go, boom. 
There it is. So easy, so cool. The NFC technology and then everything from this point on, you can change right here on your app. Go to modified temperature, turn it down, turn it up. Save. Yes. Anytime you want to change the temperature, you just go to the app, change it here, and just tap it, and it changes on the heater. So there's no dial on the heater. Everything's controlled in the app with the rest of the CJ products. And if you look at my control app, I have my Synchro SDC, my Extreme SDC, my Wave Maker and Return Pump, and my 135 CJ SDC on the Algae Scrubber in the 135, and now the contactless heater right here. So you can control everything here. You can set up alerts and settings, and it's just so easy. You can even do the calibration right here if it's not exact, but it should be within, you know, like a half degree or a degree at most. Then you just put the heater back in. Okay, my water change is done. The Ciche contactless heater is installed. It looks great. I was really excited to use that NFC technology. It was really cool. And just having all those other Ciche products on my app, on the control app, really is cool to have all that just right at my fingertips. I think it also gives some peace of mind if you're away from your aquariums, if you're on vacation for instance, it's just another way to monitor your aquarium when you're away, making sure nothing's going awry with your temperature. You're able to easily check it on your phone and mitigate any issues before they become a real problem. And even though this is just an aquarium heater, it does have some clear pros on the feature side. It comes with a five-year warranty, which you won't see in most aquarium heaters or any out there. You'll also have the NFC technology, which is globally patented by Ciche, and you have a brand in Ciche, which we would say is very reliable. We've used their pumps and their filters for many years now with no issues, and even though they have a five-year warranty on all their products, or most of them, it's really not needed because they don't fail. And the one thing I'm not gonna be able to prove in this video is just the longevity of these heaters and if they fail over time. I would go ahead and guess that they won't because it's Ciche, and because they stand behind the product with the five-year warranty. Other heaters made by other brands don't provide that warranty because they know they can't stand behind it. They know their heater might fail after a year or two, and that's just another reason for someone to come back and buy another one. So for the CJ contactless heater, I'm just very excited for all those pros. And the one thing we haven't really talked about is the price. I hate when I watch a product review with something that's really cool, and then all of a sudden it's a huge price tag, and I'm like, well, that makes sense. But for this, it's a really cool product and it's very affordable. The price ranges I was seeing, even for the 400 watt, was very comparable to some of the bigger heaters out there, the bigger brands, and it's actually less expensive than some of those. So even though it has the warranty and this new technology, it's a very competitive price point. And that's just for the contactless heater. There will also be an option from a Ciche heater where it is preset to I believe it's 77 or 78 degrees where you just put it in your tank and it's forgotten. But for this, it has the NFC technology, it's contactless like it says, and that's why I really wanted to show everyone this product since it's really a game changer in my experience. I think I'm gonna use them on all of my aquariums. I'm gonna start swapping out heaters left and right and start throwing away some of the junk heaters that I've used over the years that I've been holding my breath that they wouldn't fail. I will leave links down below to some of the sites that will begin carrying this. I believe it will be on Amazon, Bulk Reef Supply, and some other sites. You'll also see this in your local fish stores more and more. So check the description below, especially if you're watching this more down the line in the future and you would like to order one, check out the description. There should be an updated link down there. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll see you next time.